11 Spartan Secrets for Raising Resilient Children 1. Every newborn Spartan boy was bathed in wine. It was a way of testing his strength. If the baby cried, it was considered too weak. Weak babies would become slaves. Strong ones would be raised as warriors. 2. Spartans had to prove their fitness, even as infants. Soon after birth, boys were evaluated by Spartan elders. The well-built and sturdy children were allowed to live. Those who looked sickly were abandoned. Some died while others were adopted by strangers. 3. Boys only spent the first seven years with their parents. At seven boys were turned over to the state. They were organized into military companies. The companies lived, studied, and trained together. The fiercest fighter would be appointed captain. The rest of the boys followed his orders. Any disobedience was harshly punished. 4. Schooling wasn't just military training. Sparta's school system was called the agogi. The agogi aimed to instill soldierly virtues. Boys were trained in strength and endurance, but they also received the standard elementary education. Spartans were taught reading, writing, and arithmetic. They were also trained to sing and dance. 5. Endurance exercises were brutal. All Spartan boys had to go barefoot. They were rarely allowed to bathe. This made their skin hard and dry. They had to wear just one cloak all year round. The boys also made their own beds. For this they had to rip plants out of the ground with their bare hands. 6. There were regular inspections. Spartans followed a strenuous exercise regime. Those who didn't stay fit would be flogged. The boys had to compete in foot races and wrestling. One of the contests was quite extreme. Two teams would try to drive each other off an island. They were unarmed. They had to push, kick, bite, and gouge their opponents. 7. Spartans were fed a very basic diet. Underfeeding was supposed to make boys slim. Hunger was also intended to embolden them. It forced them to steal food from gardens and stores. This made them resourceful in getting supplies. 8. Spartan girls were encouraged to participate in hazing. Only boys were brought up to be soldiers. The girls acted as cheerleaders with a twist. During certain ceremonies, the girls would stand before dignitaries. They sing choral songs about the young men of the Agogi. The songs often singled out specific trainees for ridicule. The idea was to shame them into stepping up their performance. 9. Spartan boys were taught to evade punishment. This was done during an annual festival. Boys would try to steal cheeses from a temple altar. This required them to evade guards armed with whips. Whipping was a test of courage and stoicism. So the boys looked forward to the public display of their fortitude. 10. Spartan men ate together throughout their lives. At 20, a man would apply to become a member of a Sicidia. Sicidias were obligatory daily banquets. All members had to agree to accept the newcomer. They would then eat together every day. If a man wasn't accepted, he wouldn't become a citizen. 11. School was immediately followed by military service. After Spartans completed the agogi, they became soldiers. That's when military training started in earnest, but the best students joined the Crypteia. It was a kind of secret police 